Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to some more VGC. So today we're just going to keep using the Lugia team from the last episode. Uh, we'll use this for just this episode and then we'll try and find a different team later. I keep saying stuff at the end of the episodes uh, and not a lot of people watch all the way through, but um, if there is a legendary you want to see me try out, just comment it down below and I'll see if I can find a team for it. Uh, as we have found a opponent straight away using... Hey, it's our first Kyogre! Had all that stuff built to verse Kyogre and we finally verse one. Uh, Alright, so it's actually not Torn Ogre, which is interesting. It's Thunderous instead. Uh, so Thunderous, Landorus, Amoongus, Hitmontop, and Regieleki. Uh, obviously Thunderous is a bit of a problem for Lugia. Hmm. Actually a super tough matchup. I think we lead the Grim Snarl and we lead Grim Snarl Rillaboom. That's fine. With Naheligo and Lugia. I actually have no idea how this matchup's gonna go. because uh, I feel like our opponent is very, very prepared for uh our Lugia. Like not that they like would have built this team around Lugia, but like the idea of like Thunderous plus Regieleki, like they have double electric. So they're very prepared for, I guess, flying types and opposing Kyogre. So it makes me wonder if the Kyogre even carries Thunder. Because most of them are Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Thunder. Uh, I don't know how many are actually running Ice Beam, because I don't really see much of a point in running Ice Beam. Because most of the time, like Origin Pulse does the same kind of damage. Alright, what do we got? Master Ball, so Thunderous. Hit my top plus Thunderous, okay. That makes sense. Hmm. I mean, I had a feeling that Thunderous was going to be the lead. Ah, that's a fast hit on top. Because Intimidate went first. Ah, uh, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, this is a super tough matchup. Yikes. Because a max airstream is just going to go out into Rillaboom and I don't think I can stop it happening. Uh, what do I want to do here? Yeah, this is tough. This is a really tough turn one. Uh, so I assume they fake out. Um, I'm going to fake out here in case I don't max, basically. But they max, so. My assumption here is a fake out into Grimmsnarl and an Airstream into Rillaboom. That's like the easiest play. Uh, and I I can't stop it. Because Hitmontop is faster than Rillaboom, apparently. Yeah, this is rough. Rough, rough, rough. It's going to be super hard to come back from this. Yep. So as expected. Unless they doubled into the... Into that slot, but I doubt it. Uh, let's go Lugia here. So I'm assuming you just KO the Rillaboom. Yes, yeah, so we fake out. At the very least, it breaks Pencil Sash, right? I guess the other thing I could have done there is uh, Grassy Glided the hit on top. That's probably a better play. Uh, that crit didn't matter, I don't think. I'm assuming that KO is real boom always. Although they're not Life Orb, so maybe it did matter. Interesting. Uh, okay. What item would they be on it? So maybe it's worth bringing Grimmsnarl back out. We'll get an Eye Hello Go. Uh, and basically hope that Night Hello Go lives a hit from this Thunderous, I guess, but I doubt it does. 
Uh, let's just max and airstream here and meteor beam here, I guess. Probably sash on the hitmon top, actually. Now I think about it. And I don't think so. I think with the speed boost, because of how much speed hitmon top had to have, it definitely outspeeds Lugia. I think. Even without, like, let's say Thunderous doesn't go for Airstream. Like, say it goes for Max Lightning or whatever. I'm pretty sure it's still uh, is still faster than Hitmon Top. Sorry, Hitmon Top's still faster than it. Which is annoying because they could just double into the uh, Nihiligo slot. So, this one I actually probably could have protected Nihiligo. That's definitely an option I could have gone for. Is that his faint? Okay. So that breaks my uh, multi scale, obviously. And Max Lightning doesn't do that much. I'm assuming this is Assault Vest Thunderous now that I think about it. I guess we'll see with the uh, Meteor Beam, assuming we connect. But we get our weakness policy. Probably Sash on the Hitmon top. No? No Sash? Okay. My Heligo gets a speed boost. Hmm. Alright, we, we really gotta connect this Meteor Beam. But I get I sincerely get the feeling it's Assault Vest. Gotta watch all the animations play out, unfortunately. That's fine. Is that a crit? What the f- Okay, uh, this game looked over, but um, looking kind of nice, looking kind of nice now. Uh, I did not expect that to kill. Um, I'll be honest, I was thinking like 50% maybe. That ain't a Pokemon you want to see. That's also not a Pokemon you want to see. Uh, okay. And electric terrain's up too, which makes this super annoying. Okay, let me check something. Uh, okay. Plus speed. Oh, 178. So we gain just on a 90, so 89. We're faster than this Regieleki. If it's modest, I think. Uh, how bad is it if they... We gotta hope they're modest. Okay. And they didn't protect either. So I didn't expect Airstream to KO though. Uh, that's why I doubled that slot. Uh, but... Also, what I guess I should have covered for is uh, Protect Alecky Earthquake, but then it doesn't hit Lugia, I guess, so they're probably rock sliding. Oh, there's a rock slide. It's fine. We have one more turn of uh, max. We're definitely faster with the Lugia. There's no reason not to Airstream and Sludge Bomb. Even if they're Assault Vest, the combination of this should KO, yeah. Wow, well, uh... Don't sleep on Lugia, I guess. Like, that Max Thunder did... What, less than half... Even without multi-scale. Like, that's, that's insane. That is insane. And, uh, Nihiligo... Like... Yeah. That's good stuff, man. I, I was very happy with that. And yeah, when I was talking about the Lugia speeds, uh, I guess it's base 110. For some reason, I thought it was base 90. Uh, so, that's my bad. Not knowing the uh, base speeds of my own Pokemon. But yeah, I think like in terms of like legendaries I really want to try out, I kind of want to try Mewtwo. Like, it, no one's using Mewtwo. Because so many people are covering for Calyrexes, like a lot of Dark-types, and a lot of, uh... 
you know, ghost type moves, stuff like that. But as you can see in our opponent's team, they have Urshfu, which is probably the dark one, and they have an Incineroar, and a Zygarde dog. Interesting. So the Zygarde there is super high speed, like that's kind of its thing. But we're a bit limited in being able to bring uh what am I trying to say here? Like Incineroar and Hitmontop because of the uh Galarian Articuno. I think I'm fine bringing Incineroar. Nihilego again can be very very good here. But the problem is the Zygarde, so they like the Zygarde will just make our Nihiligo explode. Uh, and I guess that Thousand Arrows too, which makes that really hard. I'm gonna lead Nihiligo, bring Lugia, and I think Rillaboom. Yeah. Alright. So open for another big game from Nihiligo. I know, I swear to god, I pronounce that Pokemon's name different every time, and it's not on purpose, it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's one of those Pokemon where you really just need to have someone tell you what it says. Like, how to say it, I should say. Oh, okay. Cyclide Clefairy, okay. So... Yep. That's bad, because they can just Thousand Arrows here. The question is, would you? Do you know what I mean? Or would you Dragon Dance? Like, follow me Dragon Dance, I mean. Uh, let's see. Is Trick the best play here? What is Fake Tears? Honestly, I don't mind having the thing at the moment. I'm doubling it to the Zygarde because I'm assuming it's going to be a follow me. Or not. Alright, well, Nihilego will go down here. So maybe I should protect it, actually. But I also don't mind getting the fake tears off because it means its special defense is obviously lowered. Yeah, it's down there. So what I should on there is protected, obviously. That does so much damage, dude. Remember how I said I needed a big game from Nihiligo? And I just gave it up turn one? Yeah, I remember. Alright, so we switch out. It's Life Orb, which is good to know as well. Gorilla Boom. Okay, so this is why I didn't mind the eject button, because it allows us to pivot completely. Oh, I actually should have gone Lugia. Because we'll lose a turn of grassy terrain. Yeah, and that'll happen. That was silly of me. Oh well. That's fine. It is fine. Uh, I assume... Uh, would you Dynamax heal? Surely not. So, we can fake out Clefairy. This is a super obvious play, but... I don't see any other way around this. I'm hoping at minus two speed death, max airstream KOs. The, the best case scenario for us here is that they just attempt to go for Follow Me Thousand Arrows again. The worst case scenario is... Oh, actually the worst case scenario is Helping Hand uh, Dynamax Max Dragon, I guess, into Rillaboom. Because losing the Rillaboom will be very annoying. There's the Dynamax. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I didn't play turn 1 very well. Like, losing Nihiligo for nothing was just a horrible misplay on my part. Yeah, I'd be curious to find out how fast the Zygarde Dog is. I can't remember what its base speed is. Uh... I know it's obviously very quick, but... Yeah. The other question is whether they expect fake out on the uh, Rillaboom. Hey, apparently they do. They're just... Yeah. Alright, whatever. 
I, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. I feel like Grassy Glide into Airstream was a pretty good knockout. Nezzle went wind. That, that, yeah. that was that worst case scenario I was talking about. Uh, so that's kind of rough. So we've just lost two Pokemon for nothing, which is very frustrating. That's at minus two speed F2. So Airstream would have KO'd if it didn't Dynamax, but obviously it did, so. Uh, okay. Oh, Power Construct. I completely forgot. Ah, uh, that's annoying. That is so annoying. That's why they didn't care about the follow me. Yep. Uh, so if you don't know, Zygarde gets Power Construct, which is when its HP is below 50%, it changes form into the Big Daddy form. It regains 25% of its HP, but it's that 25% is based off of the new max HP stat. Uh, and Zygarde Complete's HP is like ludicrous. It's like base 200 or something. So it just gained a lot of health. Like a lot. Uh, fake tears or trick? We're definitely not getting a spirit break off, I assume. Uh, let's see. It's just fake tears. And airstream. We're definitely faster now because it's lost its big base speed anyway. Yeah, that is probably me. Huge surprise. Uh, now it's kind of free to max quake the Grim Snell too. So I was having a trick to take the Violet off, but Fake Tears kind of does the same thing anyway. And as you can see, uh, an unboosted Lugia is not ideal. So I guess what we could have done instead of maxing. Hmm. I'm curious as to why you'd worm wind. But anyway. So now we know Grimmsnarl is faster too, which is good. I wonder if Spirit Break KOs Clefairy from this range. Well, I mean, obviously Lugia is going first anyway. Uh, so it's just Spirit Break. Could max Phantasm. That's a play. I'm a shimmy max Phantasm KOs. Okay, we at least we take care of the Clefairy, but. Yeah, I I guess bringing the Heligo to this matchup was not the best, but it does no damage, man. I guess I'm like minus one attack, right? Yeah, they finally max quake. Okay. But no idea why they were worm winding. Oh, I mean, I know why they weren't winded Rillaboom, but not not why they weren't winded Lugia. Uh, okay. Let's see. What can they have in the back? I know they had an Aleki. There's the Aleki. Okay. If they're Sash Aleki, what can we do? I just wish we had some form of recovery. If we had some form of recovery, I would 100% just calm mind here. Uh, okay. I, again, I assume they're Sash, but I, I don't see a better play. They might, ah, uh, sorry, my voice is cracked. They might even protect the, uh, Aleki, but they don't. Uh, oh yeah, because I'm unboosted, right, 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 right. 
at specs. Has to be. Hmm. Yeah, now we just get Thousand Arrowed. Uh, if you don't know about that move, basically it's like, I think it's like base 100 and it hits anything. So it's a ground type move, but it hits flying types and whatever. You, so. Alright, well that was a, that was a tough matchup that I didn't play very well. Uh, as I sort of said, like, losing to Heligo immediately was a problem. And, you know, losing Rillaboom for nothing is a problem. Like, even, like, the turn played out exactly as I said, like, in the worst case scenario. And, yeah. The ironic thing is, like, that team just hard loses to things like, uh, Kyogre and stuff like that. But, or Xerneas, I guess. Alright. Alright, we got a Calrex. So, the standard Indeedy Calrex uh, combination, plus a Celesteel and a Whimscot. A Landorus, uh, normal Landorus, which is cool, and Tyranitar, which is also very cool. Uh, all right. What, what, what do, what do? Well, they don't have Fake Out, and I do. Question is how fast their Indeedy is, also what they lead, because I really don't have a lot for Celesteela. Which is annoying. We definitely need Incineroar here. Hitmontop is like only good for the Tyranitar. Uh, and the Heligo might take an Astral Barrage because its special defense is actually kind of decent. I just don't think it KOs back with anything. Let's try this lead again. Bring Lugia and Rillaboom in the- uh, sorry, Lugia and... Actually, no, we really need Rillaboom. We need to get rid of that Psychic Terrain, but anyway, it's fine. Actually, that's one thing I didn't consider. If they lead the Ndidi Kelrex, they can just double Expanding Force, but whether they expect an Incineral switch in is another story. We'll see. We will see. Alright, what do we got? Indeedy Calrex. Cool. So, if you're my opponent, what do you do here? Because you can have Draining Kiss. Like, that is an option. Uh, Draining Kiss on the Calrex, I mean. So, you could have Max Fairy. Psychic Seed, huge surprise, yada yada yada. Uh, okay. If I had Rillaboom in the back, which is what I should have had, I could Thunder Wave the Calrex and switch in Rillaboom. Things as they are. I don't want to lose that immediately. This is a really obvious switch, but I. What else can I do, you know? I could Dynamax the Grimmsnarl and go for Max Fairy, change the terrain. That'd be kind of funny. Hey, bring in a roll. I would assume they don't go for double expanding force, but maybe they do. Is it Dynamax Calrex go for Max Fairy? It's a DD switch. Okay. Celesteela in. Okay. Alright. Not a bad turn for us. I'll take that. That's good stuff. Uh, I could trick the Celesteel. Is that worth it though? Surely you switch Calrex out here, right? Like... Like, surely this happens, but I mean, is Trick worth it? I feel like it's not. I think Thunder Waving Celesteel is pretty good here. Uh, 
They're always special. I think Snarl is fine. I should have tricked! No! <laughs> ah, it's upsetting. Yeah, I had a feeling that Celesteel was going to max. I could have maxed um, Incineroar, if I'm being honest. Alright, I could paralyze some. It is Astral Barraging. How much is this doing, honestly? Literally nothing. Oh, if I had tricked, I would have been so lit. Ow. Uh. Terrain is still up. Would you be. I reckon it's a max steel spike. Uh, I think Lugia here is fine. Because as long as we connect the Snarl, we shouldn't take too much from a Steel Spike. I don't. Well, we definitely shouldn't, but. Okay. Oh, it's Rock Ball. Okay. Into the uh, Incineroar. That makes sense. Alright. Not too bad. Sorry, sand goes up, obviously. Uh, we lose our multi-scale, unfortunately. But that is okay. Uh, we could max heal. We'd take an Astral Barrage. But it is minus two, and we would get our thing up. Uh... I kind of want to double into the Celesteel slot. Actually, hang on. Airstream the Calrex. Bloodlet Celesteel. Okay. Yeah. So it's probably Indeedy coming in, I assume. Oh, Landers. Landers is fine too. Uh, Incineroar might go down uh, from Flareblitz Recoil plus Rockfall plus Sand. Unless we get super lucky on a uh, Paralysis. But the Airstream means we now outspeed Calrex basically. And I was willing to take an Astral Barrage at minus two. It's not bad damage. Alright, bad. Just rock full. Where um AV, hey, yeah. Yeah, AV. Unfortunately, that's okay. Uh, let's see here. I want to avoid the Celesteel getting a uh, beast boost if I can. Uh, we know that's Calrex in the back. We should survive a Steel Spike. Loki is boosted up. Airstream did about 50%. So I want to Airstream here one more time. And Meteor Beam here. Or here. Because like if they protect and I get nothing out of the turn. But it also means if they live I don't want to immediately die to a Earth Power. I guess what I can do. Why don't I just protect this turn? Yeah, it's fine. We 
because no hello uh no jesus i can't even say the word now my pokemon will get a speed boost regardless yeah so okay speed boost regardless we cover for the protect we put it in range of another airstream like guaranteed and uh, I also couldn't remember if uh, Nehaligo would have been faster than the Landorus or not. Oh, that's fine. Is that just Airstream? So that is completely fine. Okay, take the sand. Alright. Now we just Airstream here again. Because, like... It's just in DD, I assume it wants to come in and take that. And we Meteor Beam here. Meteor Beam most likely won't KO, but it's fine. There's the Ndidi. It'll take this pretty handsomely. Or not. No, oh, it's crit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, hopefully we don't miss. Okay. Power herb, yada yada yada. Cool. I actually cared. I'm some like severely underestimating the Heligo apparently. So the only problem now, uh, Earth Power should carry from there, right? Surely. Oh, and I think the, uh, the Psychic Drain descended, which is really good for us because their Indeedy is currently in. So now the question is, who do you switch in? Because Calrex is super low. There's a Calrex. Okay, can't eat berries, yada yada yada. Dynamax is over. Luke is faster. Uh, Earth Power here. Sludge Bomb here. They might switch out Ndidi into Landorus is the only thing, but I think this play covers for that. Well, not so much covers for it, but yeah, the whole reason I don't want to go for Aeroblast is it's 95% accurate, I don't want to miss. Because if I miss and they just go for like, I don't know, something here. I'm hoping this kills. Ugh. Like, I trust Luki's bulk. It's his... Special attack stat that I'm not the biggest fan of. <laughs> Alright. This is fine. This Landorus. Okay, who do we have in the back? Grim. Alright. Shadow Ball here. And Sludge Bomb here. It's a plus two Sludge Bomb, even if it doesn't knock out. Okay, yeah. Cool. I, I'm pretty sure I covered all my bases there. Alright, uh, not bad. So aside from that awful game in the middle, uh, we did really well. I think uh, this team is really cool. Again, I was really happy to use uh, Ligo, even though I can't say the damn thing's name properly. Uh, it's a very... Uh, I, I think the only time I've used it, I was very underwhelmed by it, but the Power Herb uh, set is very very strong obviously but uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching hope you're enjoying the series uh in the next episode we will have a new team i don't know what it is yet but you have to tell me below what legendary you want to see so i will see you then have a good day mm -hmm.